Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. And we can't wait to call the ocean our home. But for that, we still need to finish bringing our red schooner back to life. Luckily, we found an amazing team of Brazilian shipwrights who have been working their magic throughout the rebuild using simple tools, ancient knowledge, and a lot of passion. Join us on this thrilling journey and wish, wish us luck! luck. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we are here back at the container where we're gonna work on the engine with the help of our mechanic Elio. And today is the first day they're really going hands on it. So you can see it's already primed a bit. I painted it with this gray primer when it was still at the boat. And oh well, I did some works when it was at the boat, but now we will pretend that nothing ever happened and we'll start from zero. So what's going to be the first step? So now I'm going to start working and the mechanic will be next to me all the time to really guide me because I really want to learn everything that we're going to do. So the first step will be to remove this lid so we can have a check at the valves. We're going to check all the valves in the right order or whatever. I don't really understand about that but the mechanic told me something like that. And after checking if the valves are fine, we're going to do the compression test because that's the first thing we need to know before working more and more and more on the engine. We need to know if the cylinders have the right pressure, if they can really pass the, the compression test, then it's worth it to keep working on the engine. If it doesn't go through this test, then we really have to evaluate if we want to keep the engine or not, because that's really important. So now it's really a crucial moment, and it will be the time of truth that we'll find out if the engine can stay with us because it's in a good shape or not. Are you guys ready? I am too. Let's go. sun is shining 24 7 because when we're together it feels like we're in heaven if it will get dark you'll be my million stars i know i can lean on you the first step is done and it was very simple the lids removed and now we're gonna check the valves So what just happened now? It was called a quick check, that's what the mechanic explained to me. It was really just to see if there's any of the valve that's stuck. So he first did the way from there here, one, two, three, five, seven, nine, and then after turning again he did from here to there, one, two, three, five, seven, nine. And all of them were loose, so now we're ready to really do the test. What I'm gonna do now is remove each one of these six Bicus, that's how we call it in Portuguese and I really don't know the name in English because I just learned the name in Portuguese. In name, to be able to remove those, I first need to remove those over here and then these other little screws that you'll see me doing. And yeah, let's see how this goes. So just to really make it clear, what I'm trying to do is remove this little tube here and that's why I'm making those holes. Let's continue.
<laughs> I really, I really thought I wouldn't be able to do it because it was so hard, but here I am. Until now was just for this moment, the moment that I can remove this. Ta da! Five more to go! Done! Now the time of truth has finally come. I'm a bit nervous. I just checked the manual to know exactly the information we needed. So here you can see we will need each cylinder to have more than 20 bar. Or the difference between any cylinders cannot be bigger than four in between them. So now we'll see how that goes. And of course I'm a bit nervous, but we have to do it. So let's see. I almost forgot about this so we need to make the engine run a bit so we can test it so now we're gonna install the battery we already installed the starting starting engine the starter a hunky that thing and now we need to install the battery and then we can make the test oh. hey guys another day here at the engine container uh, yesterday we couldn't make the test because the only battery we had available is a we call it a stationary battery that's just for stable energy and it doesn't work to start an engine so we had to go after another engine another battery I mean all our batteries were in the storage room so we had to wait for another day now we are here we have the right battery for it so we're gonna change the batteries and make the engine run and then we can do the test so let's go Now that we changed the battery, it worked, so let's continue. We are getting ready now to start doing the test. We're gonna do the test with a cold engine. And if the numbers are above 20 bar, that's what we need. With the engine cold, that means that when it's hot, it's gonna be even higher because the heat will make the pressure go even higher. In case one of the numbers doesn't go above 20 with the engine cold, then we're gonna make the engine ready so we can really start it, make it go hot, and then we can really do the test again. But if it goes well with it cold, it will surely go well with it hot. So let's see how this goes now. Yes, so. We are going to start now. I'm going to install the first Biku. I still don't know the name in English. And then we're going to test it. We're going to test one by one.
this little guy over here is the one that's gonna say the result. We are looking for 20 at least. I learned as a scuba instructor that when you open the cylinder for breathing you should never be staring at the manometer in case something goes wrong and it explodes. So I think I'm gonna do the same right now. It stopped at 20, but it reached 20. Okay. Cylinder number two, compression test, starting now. I see a 20! <laughs> compression test, cylinder number three, starting now. Compression test, cylinder number four, starting now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is cylinder number five. And we have 20! cylinder number six which means it's the last one all the other five have passed through our test and if this one passes then it means the whole engine passes so this will be crucial and we're gonna find out now of happiness of one thing that's finally working how we should we are going to end our day testing cylinders so we can continue with other stuff that we have to do but the compression test of our engine has just finished and we approved so you 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 and you thank you for being awesome and congratulations on approving what we just did was simply a test, we didn't fix anything, we didn't work on anything yet. It was just to really know if it was worth it to continue working on this engine. Now that we know that even when it's cold, it reaches the bar that we need, when it's hot, it's gonna be even better. So of course, it's worth it to continue working on it. And now we're going to really do the jobs that we need to.
explain the plan we had for the bow work a couple of times but I don't even understand myself so I'll try one more time right now with this in my hand so over here we used to have those there, 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 there. and for here it was just a straight normal plank right so our idea now is the bow to continue exactly how it was so we are protected from waves that might come from the front but then here when you see this dip that dip you see it over there that goes down like this from then onwards i mean backwards we're gonna have those dun, 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 until it grows back up right here Ta -da. and that will allow us to have more light and more view from the windows of the cabin i hope now i managed to explain that <laughs> This just managed to be removed and as you can see it was not very healthy already because here we had some water infiltration on the fiberglass that we'll have to redo for it to be healthy. I am very excited about what's about to happen right now because you know we chopped off those columns that were too high higher than what we needed them to be and now we're gonna use the remaining pieces to work on the lathe so we can make the nice round columns that will have all the details on them so Naz and Nico are helping making those columns that we cut in the perfect shape because to work on the lathe you need them to be a perfect square so they are preparing them for us cutting already the corners and my dad's helping me add the lathe that he's going to make the first model so later we can just copy it so I'm really excited about this and I'm going to show you everything I can He just paused it and it's so smooth he didn't even send it just by sharpening this tool is looking so much nicer i love it the shapes started being squared then they were playing down for this kind of circular shape but it still has some angles and then there by my dad at the lathe they became really 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 round and perfect and smooth and everything i love them 
Now the next step will be to make the design on them. Over here, we're gonna have another uh, horizontal plank that will be just like the tabika, just like the covering board, but on top because it will mark the second layer that we'll have. And now, Nezu is pasqueando, which is making the story plank, the little button with all the information, so we can make that plank come to life. I knew you would do that. You're gonna help Nazu measure it. You can see here the pattern is very curved. It's not just a distortion from the GoPro. It's really doing this because it has to do the shape of the boat. I'm excited to see how it will look. I'm carrying these secrets Kept them locked down Today it's Friday and it's already 5.10 so in 20, 20 minutes we'll be finishing and it's the last day that I'm working alone Ben will arrive this Sunday, I'm counting the minutes, I miss him so much so next Monday we'll be together already working so you'll see us and I'm sorry if you miss him for the explanations that I've been giving you for the last two weeks I really tried my best but from next week onwards we'll be together again Thank you so much and welcome to the crew Brenda Kenneth, Brad and Judy, Victor, Roger, Anne Marie, and Alfred. Thank you. <laughs>